Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Plant Rica. This is the show where I look at latest comments and react to them. There's definitely a pattern here. There's simply too many plants in front of me and I'm not going to go through each one of them. I went crazy earlier this week and got lots of the small cheap plants and I got some of the bigger ones as well, the ones that has lots of pops. That way I could justify the price. And as you can see, a lot of them are white or light green, light blue. I'm thinking of using them as fillers in the new section, the Patreon Shrine. Alright, let's get right to it. Episode 73, Creating a Sea of Blue Succulents. First one, first comment from Kathy Gilbreth. There's a lot of comments here, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to pick a few though. First one is from Kathy Gilbreth. Wow, that's breathtaking. Love the blue so much. The area is just gorgeous. Enjoyed the music and I like to watch people as they work. It's more interesting. Thank you so much. I I love that you love this type of format. Yes, in many ways I think it's like being in the passenger seat or relinquishing control. I hope I'm not being too frustrating for you. From me, I see. That was beautiful. The idea was nice to begin with, and the product is now amazing. Thank you so much. From John Sheffield, have you spoken to SoilWorks about the fire glass just to see if they can get it in or try a place that builds fire pits or sells gas grills? Yes, I tried SoilWorks and unfortunately they're not carrying it right now. They pointed me to another fire glass supplier. And it's the same one that I've been looking at from across town. Maybe one of these days. We'll see. From, Pat from Patricia Morgan, this is looking great, Chuck. Can't wait till you finish with the pots. Love, love, love. Yes. <laughs> I still have no idea what I want to put in the pots, but definitely it's going it's it has to be warm colors to contrast against the blues, greens and whites. We'll see, it's going to be a work in progress. From Leslie Solway Boyd, this made my heart go pitter patter. Love the blues. From the Dub Rose One, absolutely beautiful Chuck, very artistic and love the music. What can you do with a back fence though? Zach, what can we do with the back fence? We're both, we're both stumped. We don't know what to cat. do there. The cat here? Get here. Oli is here. Oli is here. Go to Oli. Hold on. Touch Oli. Touch Oli. Daddy, touch Oli. Daddy. <laughs> From Tammy Finch, you need a flat Oli, head shovel. Yes. <laughs> actually, I went, actually, I went ahead and bought one earlier this week. You'll see me using it in the next few episodes. <laughs> Baby. Baby. <laughs> Oli. Oli. <laughs> and here's Oli, the neighbor's cat. Yay. Yay. Touch. Touch. Going back down. Put it down? Yes, put it down. Okay. Next is from Hannah N. I need to buy this house when he decides to sell it. <laughs> Good one. From Oscar Rojas. That was beautiful. Probably my favorite part of your garden. Those blues. Also, I love that it was inspired by the photography you did at the beach. That time lapse was amazing, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> From Alex Curtis, it's funny seeing you with a coat. Your daytime temps right now are the same as mine and I'm days away from summer. Ha! Ah, the UK weather. Your nighttime temps are cold though. Amazed how well your succulents survive in it. You'll be able to open your garden as a succulent garden to the public one day. 
It's looking so good and professional. Uh, Love this episode, mate. Such drama and beauty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was actually raining earlier this week, so and it was quite windy. So even during the day, it was quite cold. But towards midday, it gets better. That's why in the earlier parts of the video, I had a coat. But the latter parts, I removed it. And it's funny that you say it that way because sometimes the way I would describe it is that when I start when I start gardening these days, I start with maybe two or three layers, and as I work, as things get more strenuous, I start removing a layer at a time. It's like I'm doing a strip tease for my plants. Anyway, bad mental image. From Andrew Kue, Kue, did the hail hurt any plants, Oy. Chuck? Nope. Well, for anyone, for those who are wondering, hmm? uh, there was there was some hail. There was some while it was raining earlier this week. There was some hailstorm oh, in some parts. Oh. Well, it was raining earlier this week. There was some hailstorm. In, there was a hailstorm in parts of Melbourne. Fortunately. We weren't affected, or if we were, I did. I don't see any traces of damage in my plant, so. <laughs> From Queen Neff Reigns, Chuck. I watched every single one of your videos, and this one is my favorite. I love the concept of the ocean and the shoreline as inspiration. It's an amazing tapestry. So glad you like it. From Julie Seal, I do worry for you, Chuck. What are you going to do when you run out of space? Move? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Existential crisis then. <laughs> From Isa Zidlowska, Chuck, I love it. Great observation about the sea having a multitude of hues and how they get lighter toward the shore. I thought you would use just use elegance for your lighter ones, but you used a variety which turned out great. First time I saw anyone put a Lawi as a non-specimen plant. Can't wait to see it all fall in. Fill in. <laughs> Lots of stuff. I responded with this very comment, but about the Lawi, I guess it's my way of protesting how how cheap they have become these days. Because so I remember last year I bought one for thirty dollars, and you know it was a big decision for me. But these days, you could find it for less than five dollars each. Wow. From Tomas Mones Cazon, I love how you water or what? I love how you water or wash the area you've been working at the end of the video. <laughs> Sorry for the late comment, have been all over the place, on the opposite side of the planet. Great video bro, They're, the area turned out great, can't wait for the next episode. You're so lucky you escaped the cold man. <laughs> From Zanizana66, it looks great already and I can only imagine how much better it will look when you fill it in and it settles. Yes, and this plants are reinforcements. Unfortunately, I'm going to cut this a bit short. It's getting quite late and the little one, Zaki, is still here outdoors. I should bring him in soon. <laughs> if you just stumbled upon this video, then for this to make sense, you should really watch the episode I'm reacting to. I do read all of your comments, but but I'm trying to wrap this up already because otherwise the little man here won't sleep. So thank you for watching this short recap. Please watch my series Let's Plant and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.